In September 2012, disabled sailor Natasha Lambert sailed around the Isle of Wight. But she didn't stop there. In 2013, she successfully completed her historic channel crossing, the French Connection. This year, she takes on her biggest challenge yet. In July, Natasha will set sail from Kells to sail around the rugged southwest coast before taking on Atlantic waters on her voyage to Wales. And if that's not enough, she'll then swap her boat for her special walking aid to climb to the summit of Mount Penny Bank. Natasha has um, quadriplegic atheroid cerebral palsy um, and that means that all of her limbs uh, are, are affected. Natasha got involved with sailing uh, after uh, uh, an activity holiday at the Calvert Trust. Um, so we returned to the island and we got involved with the local sailability and Natasha managed to, to go out sailing with them on a, on a, on a regular basis and uh, it continued from there. She doesn't see herself as being disabled. She, she's just a happy young girl that wants to get on with life and try new things. Natasha has um, a straw or a, a tube inside uh, a mountain bike helmet. Um, she'll either uh, blow down the tube or, or sip on the tube and that will either uh, turn the boat or it will alter the sail settings. Natasha is a, a mischievous 16 year old. She's uh, yeah, very much the, the standard teenager. She has a uh, strong will. She's cheeky uh, and, and she works hard. So uh, yeah, she's a lot of fun to be around. My daughter makes me so proud uh, because she, she's so tenacious. Uh, she will not give in, she won't let go. Um, she, when she makes her mind up to do something, she, she will do it. She keeps on going until she achieves and, and, and that makes us so proud. Here's a 16 year old girl who is about to attempt an attempt a, a really quite a gruelling expedition. Um, she's sailing the, essentially, it'll be 500 miles or so by the time we actually get to Wales. Uh, and we're facing everything that the English Channel and ultimately the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean has to, has to throw at her. And then after all of that, once she's arrived in Wales, she then has to climb 3,000 feet of mountain. In the, in the Brecon Beacons, uh, a mountain called Petty Fan, and it's serious and it will take Natasha in her walking frame uh, a lot of time and a lot of efforts to achieve it. Natasha has um, a walking frame um, which supports her, her entire body um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's usually used on um, flat, uh, even uh, ground. However, in this case, Natasha is going to be going up a mountainside on a, on a very uneven surface. So it will take quite a lot of tenacity um, to, to, to make it from, uh, from the base to, to the summit. It's such a, a positive thing for Natasha um, that we've all got in, involved, including Natasha's little sister, who's, who's just so proud of her, of her, of her big sister. Um, well, she's very good at it and I think it's quite difficult to do it. I think it's going to be quite tiring because it's quite a big mountain. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's going to take a long time. I just think it's amazing that she can like do all this stuff um, with, and like do it on her own because it's like um, no one's like in control of her, it's just her on her own and she's doing it herself and I think it's really incredible. For me, I'm usually quite nervous because it, it, it's, it's my little girl. So um, I am over, overly attentive um, to her. For Tash, um, it's freedom, it's control, it, it's being alive, it's, it's, it's everything that perhaps she doesn't have um, when, when she's not sailing. When we get to the top of the mountain, uh, we're all going to be elated. We're probably going to be in tears. Um, we're going to be exhausted, uh, and we're going to be immensely happy and proud. Um, Tasha is going to achieve quite an amazing thing that I, I, I don't believe anybody else uh, similar to Natasha has, has achieved before. 
it, it will just be absolutely immense the fact that she's managed to complete this sail and climb to a top of a mountain um, it's just an incredible journey for her in, in so many different ways. How does sailing make you feel? Oh, no. what, what does sailing do for you?